Hey guys, it's Strand. Today I'm here with a new video for you. So I'm really excited for today's video because it is an Everlane denim haul and try on. I know that you guys really enjoyed my Madewell denim haul and try on and I know that a subscriber specifically asked for this one and I thought it'd be a really good idea. So um, yeah, it's going to be very similar to the Madewell one but it's going to be five different pairs of Everlane denim. So it's going to be very similar to what I did except it's going to be Everlane. I'm really excited. I got five different pairs of jeans in different washes and in different, um, not different sizes. They're all in a size 29. I just want to let you guys know um, that is what my size is at Madewell, at Uniqlo, at just like different type of places. So I thought it'd be good to get my regular size, right? <laughs> a size 29 is equivalent to a size 8 in jeans. So that is what I am. If you guys want to know my height, I'm five foot four. So I'm pretty average on all realms, I think. I do want to say that the lighting is not going to be beautiful. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be constantly fluctuating. I really apologize. It's kind of a gloomy day here in New York City and it's just the sun keeps going in and out. So I'm really sorry if that distracts you at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started. So the first pair of denim I'm going to be trying on is going to be the cheeky boot cut jean. Also, just like I started my Madewell denim haul <laughs> try on, I'm gonna do the same with Everlane. So Everlane is very similar to Madewell where they both have like three different size models on their website for these jeans to show off like how it would look like on different body types. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like here. So this is the size 25, this is the size 27, and this is the size 30. So I would be closer to the size 30 model. I'm gonna have my notes handy because I did I'd write things down while I was trying them on. Going into the cheeky bootcut jean. So my biggest concern with these jeans were that the the waistband was so freaking tight on me. I think it honestly would have worked way better for someone that had a smaller waist. So the curvy girls out there um, that have like the small waist and hourglass body, it probably would work for you way better than it did for me because it was like cutting at my like sides so intensely and it was making a lot of my chunk pop up um which is again like i always say there is nothing wrong with chunk but it is very uncomfortable and it feels like you can't breathe then you should probably size up so i think it would have looked way better on me if it was a size 30 or a size 31 even um on, okay closer to a size 30 for sure but it was just too tight like it was not working out for me I did really like where it cropped at the ankles. I think it was like perfect height um, or perfect length. I liked the length, it was really nice. The boot cut was really cute. Um, the denim color was really beautiful, but it just didn't fit right. It didn't work out and that's okay. <laughs> so the next pair of jeans that I tried on were the Cheekies 90s denim in, what's it called? In medium blue. Um, they were a size 29 as well and like the other one this is what it looks like on a size 25 this is what it looks like in a size 27 and this is what it looks like in a size 30. so once again i'm closer to the 30 realm and yeah <laughs> so these are it okay so this one was i first of all i just want to say that i really did like the denim i think it's really nice it was completely not stretchy at all which is why i had an issue like actually putting those denims on i really thought it wasn't going to fit past my thighs at first and and i can't say i have like really large thighs either i think they're pretty average thighs i have but once i got them up and i was like, okay they actually do fit here they were not going to close like these were not going to close at all like i even just like there was it was just a v was forming there was absolutely nothing that was going to connect i wasn't going to even like attempt to really try to close that because that would have hurt my fingers <laughs> it was it was it was going to be a very painful situation i didn't love where these hit me exactly when it came to the length of them too they're supposed to be the ankle ones um and i do think they hit at the ankle but usually when you you get like regular versus ankle they 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 are a little just nice nicer shorter if you know what i mean i definitely like that better um when they're just when i don't know i think it's just more flattering for me when they're just shorter so for these specific jeans i think like i said the blue wash was beautiful i had no problem with the way they looked it's just a problem with the fact that they were too small like they were not like i should have sized up 
one, maybe two sizes. I really think a size 31 would have been really, really good. Um, and at this point, I'm thinking that these sizes are just running smaller than Madewell. So just keep that in mind with these two pairs of denim that I've tried on already. They are just, they're too small. And compared to Madewell, it's just, I don't know, it's different. So, and due to denim not always being perfect, I've definitely gotten jeans from the same place, the same exact style at Madewell, for instance, um, and one color fits smaller than the other, which is why I ended up getting two of the 90s cheeky style jeans just to try it out. So this, the third pair, I think we're on the third pair of jeans that I got were also 90s cheeky, but these weren't in blue. These were in washed black. So yeah, but honestly, there was no difference to these. They both were exactly the same and they were both very small. And once again, I got them up, but that little V thing happened um, right at my little, like, pancita, my little belly, it was just not going to close 100%. So I just, I didn't even, I, I felt it. There was definitely no more room. I think if you did have a smaller waist though with most of these jeans, you could po possibly like, I don't know, they could possibly work for you, but someone that's kind of just like more of a straight person box i have a little bit of a curve but it's not like it's of hourglass shape you know so i think if you did have something similar to an hourglass shape it would potentially work for you a little better but for me it was like in the, the pouch area like my belly that it was just not going to close with that okay also i tried really sucking it in i was like maybe it'll fit if i just didn't have a bansa or like a belly and i was just like no nope, it's not that they're just kind of too small <laughs> so with that being said, um, yeah, I would size up, I would size up like two sizes for the 90s cheeky jeans. I don't exactly know where it would hit you at the ankle, but if it, you wanted to fit your waist, yeah, I think you should size up maybe two times if you're a size 29 like I am and have similar body types to me. The fourth pair of jeans that I tried. Oh, okay, so I ended up also getting a skinny jean, and these actually do have stretch, but as soon as I took it out of the Everlane box, I was like, wow, these look small. So I don't even know if these stretchy jeans are going to fit me. Okay, I put like my hand, like my, into a ball, um, into a fist, and I get my elbow, I get my fist, and I put it in between the denim, um, I don't know if you guys do that or understood that at all and just to see if it would kind of fit me because this is supposed to be the same size as your waist whatever and that was tight I was like this is not working um, but I'm gonna give it a go and try it on anyway so put those on you could definitely feel that they're tight but they're stretching so I was like okay so at least that but oh my god so I got the button it's fine it's tight I'm not gonna lie but put that on it was the zipper did not want to go up at all until I finally made it I made it go up but obviously when you're struggling so hard with the zipper it's obviously not your size so with that being said I probably would have sized up in these jeans maybe not twice but one um, so maybe I would have sized up like to a 30 um, and that would have been better but <laughs> it was it was hardcore it was hard the denim color was really pretty, but it honestly didn't feel as like, it just didn't feel right. Like it felt a little like, if I'm paying $78 for a pair of jeans, I want them to feel a little more high quality. So I wish I had my sister here with me right now because my sister, I would say, is either a size 26 or a 27 in jeans. And I think that like most of these would have fit her like pretty well. So I don't know if like Everlane just runs small in general. For right now, obviously you guys can see that it's running smaller. So the last one I got were the wide leg pants. So these were kind of fun to try on. I probably wouldn't wear these or I wouldn't know how to style these in particular. I thought these were super comfy on the thighs. So as soon as I put them on, I was like, okay, this is a slip on. Like it's super easy to put on. I'm not struggling at all. Um, nothing is hurting me in my thighs, nothing. So put those on. But once I got to the waist, it was like literally cutting me. It felt like when I finally got that button on, 
a zipper was fine but that button on the waist was just so freaking tight i was like this is like impossible so obviously it didn't work out the ankle length was very nice um other than that um i think the pant was okay i didn't think there was anything too special about them i probably wouldn't want to try them on again um mostly because i don't think i'd wear a white i do like my white pant i know you've seen me wearing those but i don't think i'd buy them in denim specifically and that's all i really yeah that's all i really wrote about that one it was just too tight it felt like it was really digging onto like my sides um and like i was definitely losing circulation while i had those on but yeah unfortunately guys i wish i had some better news that like some of these actually fit me but unfortunately they didn't and everlane lost out because they should probably be sizes you know relevant to other stores i don't know so basing off of like what i am at madewell which is a size 29 i do think everlane runs smaller i would love to go in and do an inside the dressing room with everlane maybe that is something that you guys would be interested in that way i can actually try some on and see what actually fits me and if it does fit right um because i know that like when we do other different sizes sorry when we do other different sizes sometimes like the like the pant length is weird you know the crotch looks awkward the thighs are too big sometimes like that happens so just let me know if you guys would like to see an inside the dressing room where i go to the everlane store here in new york city and just try on different pant sizes and see like if one actually fits and if it looks nice that way you guys can also have an idea of what it could potentially look like on your body type so yeah i'm really um this was fun either way like these didn't fit me but i hope that this helped you guys if you guys wanted any of these pairs to like choose a better size for yourselves so in the comments below please let me know if you guys would like to see an inside the dressing room i would love to film that if you guys are interested at all well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it would really help my channel also please subscribe if you haven't already that way you don't miss any of my videos and lastly put that notification bell on that way you really don't miss um any of my videos yeah i hope you guys enjoy um and again i will chat with you guys next week and have a beautiful beautiful week bye what's there to say there's nothing but space in between you and i it's okay that we change